Did you know that Starmancer was made by only two people? Would you like to know more? Well, hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to Starmancer, a game that really reminds me of Metroid, I suppose, because of the space theme and how it looks like 16 or 32 bits of the Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis era, you know? And I really, really dig the concept of this being a fight between good and evil, where, just like most games, you're the one in charge of building a city or building a space station or you know, being the main character. In this one, we're building as well, but we are building as either a good or a bad AI. Similar to uh, Good and Evil, long ago on the uh, PC, there was a great game. I think they made a sequel where you could play as like a deity or a god and you could command your people. And I think this kind of has a little bit of that in common. As it says on their Steam store page, which by the way, this came out uh, on August 5th on Steam, obey protocol or go rogue as you make and take the role of a powerful AI in Starmancer. Build bustling spaceports, secret laboratories, and incubators for mysterious eggs. Defend against starvation, sabotage, and space zombies. Don't worry, you can always grow more humans. All right. Well, let's go ahead and take our first look. I just want to thank you guys for helping to push us up to 1 million subscribers. About 60% of the people who watch the channel never sub, and yet they're watching videos all the time. I can see repeat people coming in and not subscribing, so make sure to do that so you never miss out on a video or a giveaway on our Discord or on Twitter or wherever. I have plenty of keys to give away to everybody for their support, and developers often send me a key with multiple ones for you guys too. And it's always cool to give things away on the Discord and thank you guys for your time and patience. So thank you very much for watching and supporting and just being awesome. All right, well, let's jump into our first look at Starmancer and see how it is. Come with me now. Let's go. Okay, so it looks like we get to design our core here so we can kind of like show what we look like. I'm going to be a smiley face, a yellow, a yellow smiley face. And we also get to change. Oh, I see. It's like a little. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just thought of this. Are we are we being like a you know who from you know what? And by you know what, I mean Portal. And by you know who, I'll ask you what her name is down below. Mostly because I forgot, but because I think you can remember. Well, oh, uh, actually, I just remembered what it was now. Is it a trial? Okay, let's go for a. Oh, let's go for like a. Yeah, that looks really cool. Like a black and yellow core. Oh, that perfectly fits the uh, smiley face decal. All right, let's go with that. We'll go with Moji. We could also be an eye, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go with that. But you can choose whatever you want, a blue eye. or Ooh, actually, that looks that looks pretty damn sweet, too. All right, we'll go with yellow, though. Otherwise, I'll never make up my mind. Smiley face it is. And what is your station name? Uh, Wagon. No. Uh, no, no. W w w Wong? <laughs> no. It's, uh, let's see, Station Raptoria. There we go. Perfect. Unique. We've never used it before. Awesome. And that art style is Metroid, like, beyond belief. I love that. That is, that is Metroid. No, 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 this isn't good. Not good at all. We've crashed in an uncharted system. The warp drive and memory bl uh, banks are unresponsive. We have to get back to the fleet before our supplies run out. Maybe we haven't drifted too far. The SOS beacon is still intact, but isn't responding to my commands. We'll have to activate it annually. Oh no. Wait, is that the name of this bot here? We're going to have to wake up a colonist a little early. It's against protocol, but we don't have time. Remember, the tr training on Earth? Countless souls are stored in your memory banks, waiting to be reborn in the incubation tank. They crashed your... Uh, they, the crash limited your capacity, so you'll have to make do with what you've got. Select the incubation tank and wake up a colonist. Okay? Well, this is giving me uh, vibes of Passenger, if you've ever seen that before. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I like the way everything looks and the moving background. That's cool. Always appreciate myself a uh, moving skybox. Is that gold? Oh, I want to mine it. Give me. Okay. What do we got here? Unlock colonists. Select incubation tank and unlock colonist. You got it. Unlock more colonists. Boom. Uh, oh, we can pick a number of people. Okay. Uh, charismatic, frail, and disgusting. Same. Uh, Faint-hearted, anxious, and insomniac. Oh, they have two negative traits and a positive trait. Uh, loner requires much less socialization. Well, that means they'll be a busier worker, I guess, with all that chatting. Uh, spend DNA fragments to unlock honest. Yes, indeed. All right, looks like we're building them now. Maybe not the best choice, but we'll have it'll have to do for now. By the way, we have some supplies from Earth, including food, enough to last a few days. Grow and harvest the colonist. Harvest. Okay, grow colonist. Uh, go ahead, Maya. There you go. Ooh, the animation's slick. Production occurring, 11%. Nice. What is this giant thing? Oh, this is me, okay. Uh, locked research to unlock, that's us there. And, oh, these must be like little extra bonus things that I can get, or things that I can research later on. 
and a nice area to do some building. We got storage there. So I guess we can give commands to uh, make our station bigger. And that must be, uh, let's see, activate missions. Select an object in the star map to create a mission. Oh, we can send our people out on quests and stuff. Very cool. All right, they're at 61%. What else can we build while we wait? Looks like we have industrial power, research stations, bedroll, big shelf. Oh, so we can increase our storage or give people sleeping areas. Oxygen emitter, storage zones. Oh, yeah, so we can make everything bigger. And there's a lot more stuff, too. Emergency center, drinking fountains, scanners. Oh, man, there's quite a bit of stuff here. Or I guess this is more like sorting what we can already see from the all tab. But there you go. That's pretty cool. Now, they said something about zombies. What does that mean? All right, we can hold zero out of three colonists so far. We've got upgrade modules. We've got DNA fragments and zip, zip fur. Zipper? Zipper. Okay, so that's our money. Okay, and we have no income at the moment. So DNA fragments are used to create people. Oh, you're ready for harvest. Good. Uh, go ahead and harvest now. Sorry, I was reading a lot of stuff. Why do you look like a prisoner, ma'am, in the orange jumpsuit? Wait, something's not right. The colonist is behaving strangely. Must be some corruption in the conversion system. I think I can fix this on a case-by-case -case basis, but we don't have enough time right now. Besides, the limited mental capacity might come in handy. Select the colonists and order them to activate the SOS beacon. Oh, they're transporting items. Uh-oh. Where is the beacon? It's my first day. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, could you activate beacon right-click? No? Okay, that didn't do it. Uh, work time. Oh, we can change their name. Nice. Okay, I'm already getting a little RimWorld vibes from this, too. Are you? With the whole, like, you know, being able to see stats and, I mean, just a little bit. Every game always makes me think of RimWorld whenever there's, yeah, stuff like this where you can see there's individual skills. Okay. I'm having more fun looking around than actually doing what I'm supposed to. Sorry. Okay, I see what we're supposed to do, though. This thingy here, and then go there. Okay, cool. All right, so that should be a task for them. Command override. There we go. So override now. Okay, so that person was automatically going to start transporting things, but because we told them to override that thought, wow, we can override their thoughts. That's amazing. Hey, check it out. You can see my name right there. Raptor. All right, cool. Is the station uh, name anywhere? Where's the station name? Raptoria. Come on, show it to me. Is it on the ship? No? Gotta be around here somewhere. Is there a way to rotate? Oh, wow, we can rotate 360. That's cool. Then very disorienting. Wow. Okay. Uh, oh, boy. Where were we? Sorry. Sorry. All right. Strange message. SOS broadcast activated. Scanning. No one's responding. This isn't good. Wait, hold on. I'm receiving transmission. Greetings. We picked up your distress signal. I don't know anything about this fleet, but I know how you can repair your ship. Slow down, cowboy. We're not doing it for free. Here's a schematic for a trading pod. It's automatically programmed to find us. We're located everywhere, you know. It's simple. You give us goods and we'll give you zipper. I'll just call it zipper because that sounds funny. Uh, a programmable form of matter. It's wonderful stuff to be used for anything. Oh, for building stuff. Oh, very nice. I don't know if we can trust these scavengers, but we don't have a choice. We're on our own out here. Maybe the fleet's in the previous system. Uh, the warp drive out of commission, but the scans indicate an abundance of raw materials in this system. We can send a crew to a nearby asteroid to harvest materials and repair the warp drive. Open the star map and mine some ore. Okay, let's do just that. Uh, whatever that is. Collect 10 ore. Do I need to get another person? I think we should get another person along. Uh, open star map. This is really cool. Oh, that stuff I was seeing off in the distance. That's awesome. This is like honey or something like that. I don't know. It looks like honey to me. Chocolate. Oh, maybe I'm hungry. Sorry. Uh, there's a planet called Oni and Anubis. Oh, that's cool. Anubis playing this game right now that you're watching, you can tell. All right, let's go ahead and go for any asteroid. Would that be fine? Uh, what material did they want? Let's just make sure. I'm, I'm having fun learning. Uh, perform a mission to collect ore. All right, we want to definitely find ore. So 27 there, plus a little bit of gold. Ooh. And there's spice on that planet and a mysterious skull. We might not be able to get that, though, until later. Let's just go with this one. This brown type of asteroid is excellent for mining various metals. All right, begin. Okay. Uh, collect ores. Zero out of ten. All right, so now we've ordered that. Should I have some more people go? I kind of want to just make more people just for fun. Uh, let's see. Spend DNA fragments to unlock a colonist. Yes, please. I'd like to send out some people. I think I have to, anyway. This person's actually transporting milk cartons around or something? Generic room. Oh, we can make it a recreation room. Ooh. Okay. Oh, it's giving me a 
Prison Architect vibes and RimWorld vibes. and I just love the 2D art style. And I like that we can rotate it around. And the person's actually 3D a little bit. You can see front and back. It doesn't just like have them facing the front way all the time. Oh, this person's going on a mission. Wait, don't leave without this person. Uh, Grohl calling us, please. Oh, I love the... I think that's my smiley face bopping up and down, I think. Maybe. It looks like it. I don't know. Oh, cool. She's in a spacesuit now. Awesome. Oh, is this thing going to pull away from the uh, from the dock? Oh, yep. All right, so we can uh, send them off and then go to another one. Oh, cool. That was neat. I expected it to go down. That's cool. All right, so that's a way where we can go out and make money to trade, well, materials to make money once we bring them back and trade. That's cool. I love how we can see the skybox through the gaps in the station. Good stuff. Early access, by the way. All right, are you coming out yet? You're at uh, 65%. Okay. All right, what do we do in the meantime? I guess we could speed up time a little bit. Let's see the star map and see if we can find out what that other person's doing. Oh, I can't see them mining. Maybe there's a way. Oh, the Harpy is the name of that ship. Can we rename the ship? I want to rename it something cool. Ah, uh, maybe when it gets back. Uh, let's see. Cancel the mission? No. It is mining, though. I kind of wanted to take a look at all the stuff going on. All right, ready for harvest. Go ahead. Okay, there's another recharge, so let's do another person, please. Oh, okay. Another colonist. Uh, no ego is available. Oh, okay. Well, we'll have to stand by. This will be back in three hours. Hopefully they get plenty of ore on their way back. Now, what exactly are these people doing? Oh, they're moving stuff from, like, not storage to storage, I think. Or, oh, okay. They're taking them out of these item cache full of supplies from Old Earth. Locked to prevent colonists from getting into it. Okay. Uh, so this is all... Well, we should probably just tell them to put all this stuff in storage, because then we can use it. So there's things like what looks to be food and health kits and fuel rods and other things. I'm sure we'll need that stuff eventually. Or I'm making a horrible mistake. Either way, it's cool. Uh, it'll be fine, I'm sure. All right, this comes back in an hour. Nice. Increase miner skill to level one. Awesome. You are now our miner, that is for sure. Shiny rocks. Good. Item discovered. Oh, we're getting a phone call. New phone, who dis? We have the ore, but we'll have to refine it into metal with the ore refinery. Most of your building schematics were damaged during the crash. I think we can recover the files, but it'll take some time. We can task a colonist to manually repair the corrupted file, place a research station, and unlock the ore refinery. Uh, well, we do have that already, I think. I guess we'll have to build it. So what's under research? Let's slow down time now. Slow it on down now, kids. And I would like to go on another mining mission. Uh, let's see. Wait, is somebody already going? Oh, are they on like a constant back and forth? Oh, we got another phone call. We barely have any zipper left. The scavengers gave us the schematic for a trading pod. They'll take just about anything. We can place as many trade pods as we want. There are many avenues for earning zip zipper. Zipper, sorry, food, crypto mining workshops. Our colonists can convert items into higher quality ore. It can be converted into metal, for example. Don't worry too much about hoarding items. There's an unlimited amount of all basic items. Place a trading pod and mark something for sale. Ah, okay. So I think this person's actually um, maybe bringing materials in off the ship. Yes, she is. Very cool. All right, trading pod. Sells your items to the highest bidder in the star system. Sale automatically occurs once full, fully stocked, or you can manually launch the pod earlier. Okay. All right, well, let's start from the top. Build a research station, and then we'll build the... Uh, Trade pod. Okay. Oh, new phone call again. Colonists get sad when bad things happen, like when they're hungry or if they see a friend getting hurt. Bad things will negatively affect a colonist's morale. When morale is low, your colonists will refuse to work and will not obey your orders. Decorate your station, provide tasty food, and prevent fights to keep morale high. Why, well, thank you very much. I'm getting all these hints from people I don't even know. All right. So there's our trading pod, but what about our research thing? Let's see. Manual doors... Is there a search? Is there like a search bar? That might... Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, I was going to say that was, that'd be helpful. Well, there it is. So there's our research station. And we can put this anywhere on the floor. So I kind of want to... Is there a way to rotate? Right click just cancels. Um, well, we could put it like over here. 
Next to the, uh, yeah, let's put it here. It kind of like fits, I guess. Okay, there goes our research station. Now, what about our other thing, the trading pod? Ooh, how are we gonna, oh, we can put that outside, okay. Well, let's put that, uh, can we put it like next to the gantry? Might be a good idea to like send stuff off that way. Hmm. Uh, deleting objects for a refund. No, I don't want to do that. Would like to put it maybe here? Okay. That should be a good spot, I guess. And we'll add some decorations and stuff too. So decorations are... Well, we could put down some bedrolls, but we'll just wait until they give us orders to do those things. Oxygen emitter, obviously important stuff. Inaccessible object. Oh, so we can't get to this thingy now. Darn it, I sh shouldn't have did that. Okay, well, now I know. Oh, we can move it, though. Oh, that's cool. All right, so we can move anything we want. Oh, oh, middle mouse button rotates. Okay. Oh, and there's a window there. That's cool. Well, let's put this uh, little thingy here, shall we? All right, let's put the research thingy there. That's cool that there's an easy move thing. So now that I know that, can I cancel this construction? But I could easily move this later. But I think that's a fine p position for that. Nothing's being researched. Okay, let's change that. Open tech tree. And let's start with basic power or crops. Food seems like a good idea. And then we'll work on power next. Both are good. And we have somebody ready to go. Grow colonist. We have Dimple Daniel. Ah, yes. My favorite elementary school uh, mascot. Reminding you to smile. I don't think they exist, by the way. Oh, that's cool. So the AI actually is constantly looking at us, though. This is how 2D sprites used to work in old 3D games like Quake and Duke Nukem and Doom. You'd rotate around and that's kind of how they simulated a 3D world. Quite clever. Quite clever. Alright, research is underway. Cargo is being offloaded. And then we'll have another person to do construction, but this person's already... I guess the pod already is ready. So it's an insta-build for us. Alright, unlock power. Oh, a new objective. Good, we'll be doing that next. And then earn 10,000 uh, zippers. I always want to call it Zypher because it make me, makes me think of Zephyr, which is like an old train line that was near me. A lot of people would go on like this romantic train extravaganza or whatever with like complete with a restaurant and stuff. That sounds cool. I've never eaten on a train. Lots of times on a plane, but uh, train sounds way nicer. Maybe. All that vibration on both. Are, it's not easy. All right, ready for harvest. Let's go. There we go. We got another person. Something was unlocked. Crops. Okay. That's good. Now let's unlock power. We'll do that next. Oh, I saw water recycler in there too. Oh, you know what? We should look at the tech tree. Let's have ourselves a look at the old tech tree. So we'll research basic power. Then we can unlock another hauler or possibly the ability to build one or refinery. Oh, okay, that's what they're going to make us go for. Waste recycler, food brick factory, storage bin, kitchen objects. Oh, that might be for decoration too. Maybe that'll make the place nicer with a little... Maybe they could be fancy but also take care of the trash, you know? Like decorating your house in The Sims. A dream extractor, programming terminal. Look at all this stuff. A uh, wall vent. Oh, I accidentally clicked on whatever. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Oh, there's so much to look at. It's like walking through a minefield trying not to click at the wrong thing. Look at all that stuff. Uh, let's see. A monument. And the last thing being a long-range warp. Solar panels. Gun range. Oh, this is kind of reminding me a little bit of Evil Genius. Maybe we have to train our people up on... Uh, Security or whatnot. Or maybe that's how you train new people for stuff. Okay, so power is being unlocked. Oh, no. People are, like, literally sleeping on the floor. Can you go here? Wait, you're on free time. Okay. So a little bit like RimWorld where we can program them to, uh, you know, we can tell them, hey, here are your office hours. Here's your sleeping hours. Here's your free time. That type of thing. Okay, let's build some beds then. So where would that be? We have food, atmosphere, external objects, furniture is probably where that's at. Uh, cosmetics. Dev and all. So let's go with that bedroll we saw. Not a lot of space at the moment, but I'm not sure how to expand the hull. I guess I'm just going to give everyone a bedroll up against the wall. Oh, I can't really ro can't really rotate the camera at that moment. Well, we'll go ahead and make uh, maybe two bedrolls to start with. Maybe, can I get a third one in? Oh, it's intersecting an object. I oh, will build it there. I want a little extra room. Okay, so everyone should be able to sleep. And they're both on free time. So we don't have much time to do much else. 
till they're done with that. So what? Oh, they looks like they've unlocked everything out of the boxes. Now they're just moving it into the storeroom. Is that ammunition? Oxygen and temperature. Oh, that's cool. So we have to manage oxygen and temperature as well. So we'll probably need to eventually make something to increase that across the uh, across the base. Okay, waiting for more items. I think we should go on another mission. Uh, or is it the same mission every time? Uh, looks like this takes upgrade modules. But we can open the star map and give another order there. Can we create a new mission there? Oh, okay, so the mission is still ongoing. They're just going to only harvest a few at a time. So the ship can only carry a few things, probably needing to be upgraded. Yep. So there, it looks like there's more stuff in there to offload. So then we'll put that in the refinery after being put in storage. But also, it looks like there's a um, possibility to upgrade and have more stock in there. So that's good. So we'll have the ability to build more of those and to have bigger ships too. So that's cool. Uh, let's see. Bio waste. Item discovered. Why are you collecting this? Uh, it's kind of human nature, I guess. Uh, let's see. Can we close that window? I always get nervous about an X like that. I feel like we're going to blow it up. Okay, so bed rolls are ready to go. Let's go ahead and uh, go to our next day or whatever. Top speed. Absolute highest speed. Still on free time. They're still hungry. I guess if there's food in there, go ahead and grab it. Research is being conducted again. And uh, luckily we have food unlocked too, so we can start working on that. All right, cool. So let's open our tech tree now and go for the refinery. There we go. And that'll be the next thing we research. Iron... Uh, ore is still being offloaded, putting into storage. Really inefficient to walk all that way. I wish we could put, build like a little catwalk here. But I'm not sure exactly yet how to build a uh, zone. Oh, there we go. We can make a store. Okay. So we got storage zone, germ overlay, noise, beauty, heat, and oxygen. So they don't really like the storage room. That's not, that's not pretty to them. Neither is the corner where I asked them to sleep. I guess. Oh, good. The ore refinery is ready now. Okay, cool. So now let's build that refinery. So the refinery probably is under... Maybe it's an external object? Nope. It is a... Oh, cosmetics, too. Industrial poster. Let's put up a poster. Uh, over here, maybe? Oh, I always forget. I have to, like, deselect to zoom around. Hopefully that's changed in the future. Minor inconvenience, but not anything too massive. Oh, building is immediate on those. Nice. So with just a few posters, we've made everything nice. Look at that. Wow, amazing. There's also a cat mat, which I assume is like a, uh, a bathroom mat or something like that. There we go. Now the place is nice. Okay, let's go for... Oh, there we go. That's where we build our stuff, under hull. And we can build it. Okay, I was expecting that it wouldn't allow us to do that just yet. But that's how we would do that then. So we build like a, maybe a floor, and then a wall around it, or that's auto-built. And then we can separate rooms with panels like that. Cool. All right, so we can expand if we want to. But since things are limited and we're on a tight schedule, we should probably stick to the task at hand. They want us to build a refinery now, still. So let's try that. Refinery, okay. I don't have access to that at the moment. Ah, but if we click on it, oh, good. The, uh, oh wait, what the heck is that? Uh-oh. Uh, power leech, uh-oh. That is going to leech our power. Oh boy. I do like how we can click on the goal though and it'll actually pop up for us. Now this is gonna, cost us uh, 2.5 to build so in order to build that I think we need to ship off more items so yep looks like we're shipping out bio waste and wheat seeds these are sellable items on our ship we should definitely go for the ore so let's go ahead and sell all that uh, can we sell all of it so I guess we're going to get 100 per, uh, per 1 times 15 so we'll get uh, 1,500 uh oh what's going on here Looking for food. Oh, yeah, that's food there. Bio waste. Okay, can we get more people? I, I feel like we need to... Uh, how do I adjust their schedules? Let's see. I'd like to change their time of uh, work and, and whatnot. Fun, safety, social, uh, their free will, and their job tasks. Okay, we can assign job tasks or give them the day off. Let's see. I think it's going to have to be a work every day, my friends. Work inventory. Okay, let's see if we can hire more people too. I want to get try to get more people ready to go. Okay, nobody else available at the moment. We can also shut things down to save power, so there's definitely going to be a way to do that. Uh, well, I guess while we're waiting, we could try um, maybe a bigger hauler. Used to collect resources and perform missions in the local star 
system. All right, so I assume research costs money or that's what it is to build that. Oh yeah, 2.5 thousand to build the ore refinery sounds about right. So maybe there's also an upfront research cost too. But anyway, we got three out of three colonists. We're not making any other cash. Oh boy, that power leech out there, I want him dead. Oh, the uh, miner went back up to space, okay. So let's go ahead and continue speeding up here. Hopefully that power leech doesn't make his way onto the uh, station. He's staying outside, but I don't know if he can actually, like... This feels like an underwater base now. You can tell our people to terminate or don't engage. Oh, look at that. The ship goes right uh, to the uh, pod. There we go, and the pod has launched. Fantastic. And can things be stored there until it returns? Possibly. Wow, we just sold for 10000 And now we have enough to build our refinery, so we can sell for even more once we refine. I like this. I really like this. My favorite thing has got to be the art style and how organized everything's set up. I like the, um, I don't know, I just I really like the, the style for this one. Very nice and clean, yet pixelated. I'm good with that. I like that. Oh, uh, right, refinery. I forget I can click on that and that it's so easy. Now, do I have to build this inside or can it be outside? I really want to build it outside. Seems like it's going to be really pollutive. No floor. Oh, it has to be inside. Okay. Well, we do need to expand the station then, and that's going to cost us some materials. So, we'll build an engineering bay onto here, or I guess industrial wing, and we'll put other things in there. So, time to build a hull. Or expand on the hull. Do that. So, I'm going to do this. Just like that. And I should be able to build a standard panel, right? Can I expand upon that? Or does it have to be on the floor? Nope. Maybe a wall will be built around the floor. Oh, build wall room. Ah, okay. That's an easier way to do that. Okay, so forget the floor. We'll cancel all that. I think we can use delete to delete. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Good. Boy, every mistake, we actually learn something new that'll help us out in the future. That's very helpful. So we'll, build, we'll just expand on and build another room. Although, these are some uh, airlocks here, and I don't want them to... Um, I don't want them to build over the airlock. I would like them to just build another room like this, you know? Wait, this only costs 72? I don't know why it keeps trying to build beams here. I'd just, I just like a floor here, please. Uh, we could probably make a manual door out of these since it's an internal area. Okay, so we can make like a door there in order to like, um, you know, if, if there's like a loss of oxygen or something like that, we can like... If there's a hole here, people don't get sucked out through that hole. Okay, that'd be bad times. Oh, but it looks like the floor is being built. And that must mean, yep, somebody on the other side is working on it. Now, how do we change our view from this view we're looking at? I'd like to uh, change it from a cosmetic view to something else. Oh, we have a color tool. Oh, can we easily uh, paint things? Must be a way to paint uh, maybe sectors or something like that so you can see what they are from afar could be a possibility okay now I need to remember how to get back to these uh, zones so how do I know if something's turned on or off don't want to delete any zones but I guess everything in blue is under construction it's in like blueprints so that makes sense and it looks like we've sent out stuff again don't hey, don't don't you tell hey hey don't hey you stop that. Stop jittering around like that. You're making me nervous, creep. Oh, wow. Somebody blacked out on the floor. Couldn't uh, make it to bed, huh? Okay. Well, wow. And oh, look, they're spinning around in bed. Gives a new meaning to tossing and turning all night. That's for sure. All right. We'll read about germs and stuff later. I don't want to get too overwhelmed. I feel like a cat with catnip right now. And I really like this. This is cool. So let's speed up time. So obviously, we're able to build weapons and such. We have guns, so there's probably, in addition to that leech that's out there, maybe, you know, a ship could crash nearby into an asteroid and, you know, unleash some sort of crazy uh, zombie apocalypse on our, our station. And it looks like our crews are doing a good job of building everything now. Which means we should be able to build... Can I build the refineries like a blueprint on top of this? That would be nice. Oh, very nice. Yes. Now, it looks like it also needs to be wired. A wire that connects objects with power. 
So does that mean some of these objects don't seem to need to be connected, but this one possibly is. Uh, oh, what? Colonists will generate power while running on the treadmill. Must be connected to a battery. Oh, really? That's interesting. Okay, if I delete these walls then, can I delete that wall and that wall and put a treadmill next to it and a battery? All right, so what if we put a treadmill here? That's very interesting. No light here, though. Is that because this room has no power? Right, let's get back to it then. So try a treadmill. That's a very interesting way to uh, connect the power source. How big is a battery? Small battery like this. So I think we'll have to plug in everything like this. Let's try this out. I want to see how my design might work. Can I, can I wire this underneath? Possibly. Oh, I see it. So it goes right through it. Okay. So we might be able to do something like this. Although I'd prefer to have it like that. But it must be connected to a battery. So now that we know that, that's going to change those designs in the future. Let's go ahead and cancel this. Would be nice, too, if there was an option to just move a blueprint. If I could scoot it over a little bit, that'd be nice. Let's go back to power, battery. And if we need to, we can add a secondary battery. I'm going to block that airlock a little bit, but everything is off just slightly sometimes. Just a little bit. All right, treadmill's going up. Good. And we have ourselves electricity. Toward power, 100 out of 100. Great. So now everybody can go ahead and start, instead of selling ore, we can now refine that ore into something else. Although I don't see anything else at the moment that we can do. Create metal. A uh, machine that converts ore into metal. Okay, oh, so we can have metal, magnetized metal, or superheated metal. And it takes two ore to do that. Okay, well, let's stop selling our ore then. We'll keep that. And we'll try to start selling metal. Although maybe we don't do that anymore at the moment. Uh, let's see, select the refinery to order metal production. Okay, oh, we have to give it a number. Oh, infinite, I suppose. Well, let's just try 10 for starters, which will require 20 ore. Uh, let's see, and then we need to get to $10,000. Okay, so now we'll be able to sell metal for a lot more than what we were selling ore for. Or perhaps we can eventually make kinetic bullets out of it. I suppose we could also sell anything that we wanted. Everything's turning into bio waste now. Oh, boy. I don't know if that's them crapping on the floor or if that's uh, food going bad. I'm not sure. We should definitely sell that, too. Let's go ahead and sell bio. Uh, bio waste. Purified water we probably want to keep. Uh-oh, that power leech went in there. Hey, jerk. Well, we won't be able to deal with him until we've got ourselves some guns. Oh, man, we're going to need people on the treadmill all the time. Oh, yeah, there he goes. He's sucking power. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Oh, they're, they're actually offloading ore right now, it looks like. They're coming over here to drop something in there. We have everybody on crafting. There's the ore there, sitting right on, on the conveyor belt. Oh, we got four out of two. Great. Oh, and everybody's sleeping now. All right. Where do we bring the ore once it's done? Oh, we have low oxygen, too, so we better make some oxygen emitters. Very nice. How did he get inside our base? I guess he just follows somebody in, you know, like he piggybacks off them opening the door. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see. So we want oxygen emitters. So that's under atmosphere? Oh, it costs a thousand, though. We don't have enough money for that. Oof. Uh, let's see. Select the refinery to order metal production. We did. Uh, is there a button I'm missing to order? Oh, okay. We can hide or show the uh, alerts. We can upgrade that. Oh, that's cool. Uh, let's see, overclocked or optimal efficiency, unbreakable or perpetual motion machine. We can probably upgrade the treadmill too, right? No. But it's probably something we can do in the future if we research it, maybe. Okay. Oh, everybody's sleeping right now. They're going to be sleeping to death, though, as soon as we run out of oxygen. But not bad, though. We'll get that money as soon as the uh, metal is being produced, though. Well, looks like they're starting to bring over the ore. 
So metal ingredients is ore, 30 seconds, and then we... So everybody's transporting, I guess. They're not necessarily crafting yet, so we'll just have to wait until they wake up. So some people are, like, going into the ship and trying to do mining. Some people are just wandering around to uh, load things onto the trading platform. And other people are on that treadmill where, yet again, that little turd keeps getting our stuff. Can we, there's no way to kill him yet. Rules of engagement we can't set at the moment. Drops on death. We need to be able to kill him, but there's no orders we can give to do that, I think. He's really annoying, though. We're stun-locked. Oh, there we go. The ore machine is making ore. Wow. I wonder if that's random if he shows up or if that's kind of part of the tutorial to pester you. But anyway, our people did make... They must have made one ore. There's zero out of two in there, so they must have made some, and they must be trying to trade it. I don't see it on the list, though. Ah, uh, we didn't create one yet, though. Otherwise, it would have popped off the menu. However, we went from five ore sitting in here to one. Upgrade module discovered. All right. Nothing's being researched. Yeah, I think that might take cash. But we are making money, so we should probably hold off and just let our people eat, sleep, produce power, and produce metal. Oh, finally, that little leech went away. Okay. He was giving us some real trouble there. But luckily, we're good. Okay, so back to being happy. Great. Oh, good. Now now we can start trading metal. Now it's unlocked, right? Yes. Okay. So now we can start trading metal for 300 rather than the ore for two, uh, 100. So that's uh, three times the value. That's great. We could trade our bullets, but I want to keep that. And we're going to trade bio waste because, you know, that's just a good cleanup, I guess. 750 awesome and items were just sold all right so i uh think we should probably get an oxygen emitter i admit that we should probably have thought about that before but <laughs> that's okay don't you worry we are all good Build one of those there and whenever everybody wakes up then they should be okay cool i wish we could pick the signs too it'd be nice to put the little electricity sign by the uh the uh the uh, treadmill be able to get uh you know a little safety going a little safety briefing Looks like we got a phone call. We have enough materials to prepare, repair the warp drive. Order a crew member to place the metal in the analyzer. Our nanobots will automatically perform the repair. Then order someone to activate the warp drive, and that terminal will connect with the fleet. Ordinarily, you can't put metal into the analyzer. The analyzer is for treasures and spare heads. Spare heads? Uh, excuse me? Uh, place metal in the analyzer. Oh, right here. Okay, can I ask somebody to go do that? We're also supposed to earn 10,000 uh, zipper bucks, so I hope people are still going on missions, question mark? Oh, I guess not. That uh, has been mined all the way. Well, I wonder, oh, maybe we can queue these up, because this one says one. Okay, perfect. We can queue. That's great. That is very good. So I guess we'll just mine everything in the uh, solar system that we can make into metal for now. And we'll just hopefully have somebody go on a mission all the time. And there we go. Somebody on a mission right away. Perfect. So that means ore coming in constantly. That means that uh, we should be able to make some more metal for the analyzer too. I like learning on my own sometimes in tutorials. You know, sometimes following everything that they're saying can be confusing until you see the big picture. So in this game, it's kind of we got a little bit of freedom to do whatever we want. And I'm glad that our biggest freedom is from that damn... Uh, leech that was coming in sucking up all of our power that was annoying but it's not too big of a deal now now how do i bring light into this room this light this room's really dark but this room's really light how do i build some lights let's see there a way to do that security scanner industrial poster trading pods wheat crops treadmills maybe we should get another call on this stuff okay nope i wanted to try to do that to get more people to uh, oh boy he's back and he's coming straight in like it's a drive through He knows where the snacks are. Damn, we got an... How does he get through the airlocks like that? He just waits for somebody to come through. Exactly. Hey, Bob. Hey, Dave. How you doing? He just walks through like he owns the place. Look at this. Is he going to go in? Oh, he does. What? And then he just comes through like he's like... Like he owns the place. I do like how the airlock has a door on both sides, though. It is actually a mini airlock. 
Don't tell me he's gonna open the door. What? He can just like operate doors? Oh, come on now. But that's why we need security and stuff. All right, so place colonists to manually, order colonists to manually place metal. Okay, let's give an order. So how do we do the override thing? I'd like you to do something here. Place metal, please. Has no items, okay. So I need you to pick up metal. As soon as that machine is done. Come on now. Uh, we're out of power again. Oh, she's had it. She is. She has frustrated me too. I do like all the doors and stuff. This reminds me a lot of Space Haven as well. If you're looking for a game where you can build a space base and a spaceship a little differently, Space Haven is fantastic about being a little bit more like faster than light, uh, and also. Um, a little bit more like RimWorld, though this is kind of like the same thing, too. I like I like what's going on here. I, I do like being annoyed by these creatures and stuff. It means we're going to have to build some security, which means we can have like a security camera near the door and like a, a big gun to shoot anything that uh, causes trouble. Right? Okay. Well, actually, that's literally Metroid, isn't it? Coming in and causing problems. All right. I hope this comes out soon. What's our uh, progress here? Don't notice a progress bar. It does say 30 seconds or maybe 30 minutes. Uh, that probably is in-game time. Yeah, so it's just 40 minutes past midnight. And, of course, our little friend is gone. As soon as he... Uh, While well, our colonist leaves, as soon as our little friend has a snack. I wonder what, I wonder what ORE stands for. Obviously, Raptor... Ignored what that meant, I guess. Okay. Oh, and we're sleeping in the storage room. Okay. Is there a way to assign beds? Uh, it's better than on the floor. Well, that's true, but uh, say tell that to Dimple Daniel over here, blacking out in the uh, in the uh, fuel rods. Actually, I think that's purified water, but still. Okay. I need you to come over here, please, and work this machine. And I need you to can't be used okay so I need one of you here on the power generator I'm sorry I gotta override your orders we got stuff to do folks I need you to come over here now I wonder if they'll do that once or if they'll provide a constant supply nope once I need you to punch that thing in the face to death craft an item of metal or leave you make uh, power there. Oh, maybe they're going to get ore. There is some in storage there. But there's already 10 sitting there. And we have maybe, oh, we have no metal in there, but we do have ore. But we have uh, selling turned off. Okay, well, here we go. Now we can make some metal. Who has metal? Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, I need you to please put that there. No. No, override what you're doing. Uh, you didn't, you put down the metal. Can you do it? No, he put it down. Uh, what? I need somebody to pick that metal up. Okay, please get off the treadmill. Please pick up this metal. Take item, metal one. Okay, we're going to babysit a little bit. Is he coming? Okay, now, okay, apparently you overrided my overwrite. Okay, I need you to put it in there, please. Okay, could you pick it up? They seem to throw it on the ground. Now, if there's any issues or any problems here with this, 
again, it's a two-person dev team, so I expect there to be issues. Although I don't think this is an issue. I think the issue is on my end. Is there a way to check their inventory? Yes, metal cube. Go, 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 go. Go, Maya. Yes! We got it done. Okay, activate warp drive. Order colonists to a activate warp drive. Okay, they're very busy. This is why I opted to try to get some more people because I figured there would be basics going on of uh, powering and mining and uh, smelting. All right, this is it, folks. The end game, at least for the uh, basic part one tutorial. I like this game a lot. This is definitely a game I'd like to live stream too and uh, that I would recommend for people who like all these little task managers. This is really cool. Uh, this is it. We're returning to the previous system. I just hope we're not too late. Wait. You didn't leave anyone outside during the warp, did you? I don't think so. Did I? Oh, God. Nice. We still need to earn 10,000 bucks. There is no sign of the fleet. What's that noise? It's a distress signal. Okay. Mayday. Mayday. Our station has been overrun by some sort of infestation is anyone out there please respond oh yeah we're out here this person is in trouble we have to help besides maybe they know what happened to the fleet contacting them now thank the stars I didn't think anyone would answer a fleet I'm not sure but if there was any system activity our scanners would have picked it up and stored it in our drives I know where it's located but you have to come and save me first hurry I'll override. I overrode the airlock docking protocols. You won't need an engineer this time. Okay. So we need to rescue a civilian and find out what's going on. All right, let's go on a rescue mission. Quick. Uh, they're here. Oh, boy, that is crazy. This station appears to have been taken over by some sort of infestation. Your engineer might be able to get inside. Well, she said she overrid the controls, so uh, let's do a this, the, the quest, I think. Okay, let's send somebody. Uh... Who's got the most uh, brain? Well, this person's the happiness, happiest. Let's take the labor. Go. All right, we got a rescue mission. Okay, we're going to go rescue Don. Operation Rescue Don is a go. That sounds sweet. Go, 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 go. Where are they at? Come on. Anybody? Oh, it takes a while to get through those doors. Oh, I guess. Okay, there it goes. Okay. Well, we can't w watch until they get back. That is one thing I wish I could see is the uh, star map at all times. I think we can only do that through here, but only if the ship is back and not on a mission or planned mission. Kind of cool. Our station is functioning a bit like a ship because we can kind of teleport or whatever. Like we used our warp drive or whatnot. So that's pretty cool. Ooh, we can see all the stuff in the background. Oh, wow. So the stuff in the background is actually in this system. That's really cool. Where did you send us? This place is crawling with slime creatures. Don found a functioning shuttle. She's safe now, but we barely managed to make it out. The data got a little fried. I'm not sure how usable it is. We're heading back now. What do we have here? More meat for the grinder. Oh, boy. Cuddlers detected. Do not engage. Oh, no. The hive must have followed me here. We have to get out of here now. Oh, boy. That looks wonderful. Great. She's right. There's no way we can withstand this attack. We can analyze the data later. Right now, we have to get anywhere else. Uh, flee to escape the hive. Oh, okay. Uh, core terminal. Let's see if we can get somebody to engage. Quickly, quickly, before they get through the door. He's waiting outside. Is everybody inside? Everybody made it back. Okay. I see three people. Here we go again. Oh, boy. Biomass. Good. I think we're safe for now. We need to figure out how to repair this sensor data. Situation. Uh, salutations, comrade. A fellow synthetic overlord. I couldn't help but overhear your unencrypted chatter. Mr. Pink can easily recover your data, but I need a favor. My meat bags have been um, performing recently. Underperforming. Unperforming, yeah. I think they need a morale boost. Better food goes a long way. Send me a shipment of nutrition bricks and I'll perform the necessary data recovery. 
Wow, the AI kind of reminds me of what it's like in Stronghold, where you play as the king, and uh, you know all your peasants or whatnot are basically like you being the AI and working with the uh, crew here on this ship. Pretty cool. Let's take a look one last time then at the star map, and we have to do business with oh wonderful the Kepler colony. I'm assuming they want cleaning solution, and we might be able to scavenge them. Can't zoom the map around anymore, so. Uh, yeah. So is there, uh, planets here? Yep, there's planets. So what can we do? Oh, yeah, we can mine on the planet as well. Although they seem a little less rare than, uh... Well, you'd think a planet would have more, but I guess they have rare items. Like, for example, this one has one gold pot, but this one has six, 53 ore, which we could turn into metal in order to buy stuff, in order to make more stuff for our ship, or our little station. Station Raptoria. Guys, Star Master is available now on Steam. I like this game a lot, and I want to get into it a little bit more. Some of the things are annoying, like the you know, the little, literally the little bug and stuff flying around, but that's all cool. I think it's uh, just something that uh, I'll want to try a little bit more in the future. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Hope you all enjoyed our first look at Starmancer, and I hope to see you next time and on stream as we play it some more. Thanks again for subscribing. Turn on the notification bell. Uh, subscribe, subscribe, join, subscribe, notification bell. Okay, cool. Thanks, guys. Bye. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. <laughs>